بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and welcome to a traveling stranger production we are covering the series titled the beginning this series relates the story of creation and what's been revealed to us about our origin and history as we know it. So let's dive right in. The Angels Allah then created the first living, breathing creature on a Wednesday. The Angels These honored servants are created from the elements of light and the purpose of their existence is to carry out Allah's decrees. The first from among the angelic creatures that the Almighty created was Jibreel. And Jibreel was created free from any defect in body and mind. Then he rose and became stable. Some of the qualities of the angels are, they don't have any pride. They don't feel envy, nor do they have any physical desires such as eating, drinking, or mating. They are completely incapable of disobeying Allah. They only do exactly as they are commanded. And they never grow bored or tired of worshipping Him and celebrating His praise. That being said, they are not robots. They do have personalities preferences, likes, and dislikes. Their appearance is described as beautiful, yet powerfully dominant beings, mighty and massive in size. Some are as large as mountains, while many others are much larger. Some have two wings, some have three, some have four pairs, and some Allah increased with many as He wills. Allah has given them the ability to take on forms different from their angelic form. Jibreel has 600 wings, which have jewels, pearls, and rubies constantly falling from them and he sits on a huge throne that Allah provided for him. Then there are the four angels who bear Allah's throne. Each is described as one in the form of a man, one in the form of a lion, one in the form of a bull, and one in the form of an eagle. And on the day of resurrection, Allah will send four more angels to support them. Their size is so titanic, the distance between one of the angel's earlobes and shoulders is a journey of 700 years. Bear in mind that the angels are only carrying the weight of the throne itself. The Lord of all creation does not rest on his throne, rather he rose above it. Allah is distinct from His creation, and nothing can encompass Him. All of the angels have specified roles and duties. Jibreel, the highest ranking angel of them all, is given the task of sending down revelation from Allah to all the messengers sent to earth. He also brings punishment to the nations that reject the signs and revelation or become aggressive towards the prophets and the believers. Mikael is responsible for provision and forces of nature, sustenance, rain, winds. He is the angel chosen to move them when and where Allah commands them to do so. Israfil is appointed to blow on the trumpet when the day of judgment begins. His lips are currently on the trumpet as he waits for the command from Allah. The angel of death and his assistants are responsible for taking our souls on the time that it has been written 
and decreed, and they never neglect their duty. Some Jewish sources mention a name for him, but no name has been confirmed. There are angels assigned as the keepers of paradise. One of the greatest from them is an angel referred to as Ridwan, and he has been commanded not to open the gates for anyone before the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, while some of the other angels in paradise are in charge of preparing the honors and welcoming gifts for its inhabitants, such as garments, jewelry, dwellings, food, drinks, and other things that no eye have seen, no ear have heard, nor crossed any human mind. Hell has been assigned 19 angels to guard it. The main guardian from them is Malik, who is a severe angel that has no remorse, nor does he feel any mercy for the people being tormented in it. The angel Malik hasn't smiled since hell was created. Allah assigned four angels to each of us. One angel over our right shoulder records all of our good deeds, while the angel over our left shoulder records all of our bad deeds, both major and minor. These noble angels write everything, and not a single word or expression is uttered except that it is documented. However, the angel over our left shoulder holds the pen for six hours before writing down any bad deed. If the sinner regrets and repents to Allah, then the angel does not write down that sin. The other two angels guard the person they are assigned to from the front and the back. Any harm that comes towards him or her, the angels tell it to clear off except for calamity or harm that is decreed by Allah to fall upon that person. Then, the angels withdraw from them. Then another four angels switch shifts there in the night. Munkar and Nakir are two angels both described as black and blue with a petrifying appearance. They visit the grave after the deceased is buried and interrogate them with three main questions. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? Who is the man who was sent among you? Harut and Marut are the angels who Allah later sent down to Babylon to test mankind. Some of the angels were created in a state of prostration, constantly celebrating Allah's glory and praise. And they remained this way, never lifting their heads until the day of judgment. And there are many countless others who are unknown to us. Their number is unknown, but what helps put things in perspective is there is a house of worship in the seventh heaven known as Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur, translated as the flourishing house or the much frequented house. 70,000 angels visit it and never return for another visit. Every day, a new group of 70,000 angels visit this house only once, and this will continue until the Day of Judgment. In addition, we also know that there isn't a single space of four fingers in the entire universe except 
that there is an angel prostrating, declaring Allah's praise and glorifying Him. That is all for this halaqa. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoy the content and find benefit, please consider subscribing as a Patreon supporter and help us develop more quality content. Jazakallahu khairan. And join us next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.